Hey y'all, today we're going to show you how to make no peel hard boiled eggs in your slow cooker and we're going to do it all while having a whole lot of fun. You'll see! Hi and welcome back to another edition of Cook It Chris's Dishes with the good old boy where we're cooking up dishes straight from RecipesThatCrock.com which is my beautiful wife's cooking blog and today we have something really, really simple that's going to change your life. Are you ready for this? We're going to make hard boiled eggs, but you're not going to have to peel them. You're like, Mikey, Mikey, how are we going to do that? Well, let me show you because my wife just showed me and I want to show the world. First thing you need to do is take a bowl that fits in a slow cooker. So this is a, about a two, two and a half quart bowl? It's two and a half quart bowl. That's the wrong bowl, but our right bowl is... The right bowl, I'll show you in a minute because that's the stuff. But this still works. Get a bowl that works, that fits down in your slow cooker. No. Right? Right. It, yes. it needs to be oven safe. Yes. So we recommend a two and a half quart anchor hawking bowl. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those anchor we'll hawking bowls are the best. We'll put the link down below. Okay. What I want to do is, before I put my bowl down in there, I want to take two cups of water and pour into the bottom of my slow cooker. Anytime you're cooking like this, it's good to use some water. You six don't want to dry quart heat. Six quart slow cooker. Yes, this is a six quart. If you got a seven quart, it's fine, right? Mm -hmm. No, maybe. It, it'll change cooking time most likely. So listen, listen to her, not to me. <laughs> now, what I want to do is I want to take some butter, and I want to butter the bottom of my bowl. All I want to do is just that. The bottom and the sides. You can you don't use want... cooking spray if you want, but it doesn't work as well. No. And that's a lot of butter. It was a lot of butter. I'll be right back. Let me grab a paper towel. Just kind of make sure I get that all right up in there. There you go. Oh, that's kind of pretty way I did that. That was kind of cool. <laughs> it looks like a flower. Oh. All right, now I want to use my bowl in my slow cooker first. I'm trying to remember the instructions my wife told me. Yeah. Just like that. You have and to have it so that your lid can can close down over it and since we have the lids with the rubber gaskets we can toy with the lip a little bit. Mm -hmm. So we're all right. Yep. To use this bowl that isn't our bowl, our normal bowl. And then I'm going to take eight very, eggs, right? Very carefully. Eight? Yes. Okay, take eight eggs. I'll use my eyes first. Ah, la, 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 la. All right, I'm going to take eight eggs and carefully break them into the bowl. You want to keep the yolks intact because yes. the way that this works, whenever you're making hard boiled eggs for like egg salad or potato salad or to put on top of your house salad, is the yolk. The thing about a hard boiled egg is the yolk and the whites aren't mixed. They're, they're cooked intact and then they're chopped up. So we're doing that. Only we're taking the peeling part of that hard boiled egg out of the process. Right. Now, honey. Yes. Let's say that somebody breaks a yolk, especially like six or seven eggs in. Yes. Does that end their day? No. You just just let it be. Don't mix. Just try and keep it as contained as possible. It's it's obviously not going to cook up a circular yolk but it will still keep the yellow separate from the white as long as you don't don't start like with a fork in there and mix it up. So, it'll Otherwise, be alright. Otherwise, it's going to make scrambled eggs. Yeah. Is, it's the same thing. It's not like it's going to chemically change it. It just won't be as pretty as that right there. So now, let me get my eggs out of the way. And then what's the next thing I want to do? Wash my hands. And I didn't even think about it until I just did that, but I also want to wash off my cutting board because I had the egg carton on there. So let me do that real quick. Now, I want to put a lid on my slow cooker. And I want to set it for how long? You're going to put it on high, and you're going to start checking it at 90 minutes. And it goes up to two hours, it right? It can go up to two hours. Now, okay. you're looking for your yolks to be the color and, and consistency that you desire when you make um, hard-boiled eggs. Right. 
So if you like the really bright yellow, then you watch for that. The center one is the one that's going to take the longest to get done. So you're going to have to watch. And the reason we put the bowl inside the slow cooker is to allow that center egg to get done better than, mm -hmm. um, than uh, because if you do it in your crock pot without the bowl, then the outsides like almost become fried eggs and the inside isn't quite done. So the bowl inside the crock pot actually helps it, um, helps it cook more evenly. Also, we use a two and a half quart bowl because that allows things to cook more consistently. We've yep. tried it with a, a, a one and a half quart bowl and it's a little bit more difficult to get done. So that's part of this. So what you're going to do ideally is um, inside the crock you can run a rubber spatula um, very carefully while it's hot. Now his isn't hot because cool we're, we're running late. And you're going to run that spatula around the outside and just kind of loosen it up. It's going to stick a little bit, and that's all right because we're going to chop it right up. But the other piece of this is um, you'll notice our eggs have turned like a crop, like a, a hard like boiled egg sometime color. will because um, we left ours in the bowl too long. You yep. really should turn it out immediately after cooking. But when you're doing a cooking show, you can't always time it <laughs> exactly that. Yes. Whenever somebody sleeps in is what she's trying to yes. say. Yes, when I'm yelling, get down here, the eggs are done, and he's not down here. <laughs> and then all I'm going to do is take a knife and chop it up any way you want. Yep. But this is what it looks like. Yep. And now you can have eggs for egg salad. Yep. You can have eggs for a cob salad. Yep. You can have eggs for a tater salad. Or sometimes if you're just a plain man like me, you could just have eggs. Yeah, oh, we were going to have egg salad for lunch. I'll make more. Uh. <laughs> but that's simple. And you didn't have to peel your eggs. You just cracked them into a bowl. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you're good too. Yeah. So we're mm. going, we're going to also share with you guys we're real soon on the blog <laughs> how to make our egg salad, which is really, really simple. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is definitely the first step. It is so easy to do. No peeling eggs, no waiting for them to cool. You can pop them right out, chop them right up, and then get the rest of your dish ready and then toss them in. So it is a really handy tip to have in the kitchen. Yeah, it reminds me, um, I was trying to make hard-boiled eggs one time and a, a guy that I worked with told me that what he would do is he would take his eggs and he would, if, when he, once he got them hard-boiled, he would tap both ends of the eggs and just make a small peel, a small hole in both ends. And then he'd blow real hard, and the air pressure would actually separate the peel or the uh, um, the shell mm -hmm. from the egg itself, and it'd blow the egg out the bottom. Mm -hmm. I got so excited, I went home oh, and no. I tried it, and I boiled some eggs. Oh no! And then it's, and they were still hot, so oh. I ran just a little bit of water under them, and then I tapped the top, tapped the bottom, peeled it, and I went. <laughs> I didn't cook them long enough. Oh no! So I blew hot yolk all over the front of my Yolk's chest. on you! The yolk was on me, that is for sure. Har, har, har. <laughs> we want to thank you for watching another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the Good Old Boy. If you like what you saw, give us a like on this video. Comment, how would you use the eggs? What would you put them in? Maybe uh, subscribe down below, become a member of the Crock Posse. Maybe if you dig what you're doing here, maybe you are a member of the Crock Posse and you're like, Mikey, Mikey, where can I get it? an apron like that. Well, we'll put a link down below and show you where you can get an apron just like this. Because, you know, I'll clean that up later. <laughs> Thank you guys again for watching, because if you keep watching, we'll keep cooking, and all will be well. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey, everybody! She's got eggs! <laughs> she knows how to cook them! <laughs>